Welcome to Everything Under the Sun Podcast. I'm PJ, a.k.a. DZ Hood, a.k.a. PJ that DJ, a.k.a. your future baby daddy, no. if my wife lets you. Dang. No. You just cut There's no up. future baby daddy anywhere. Not even yours? Mine only. I'm going to be your BD. Shit. Anyways, I'm Tiana. <laughs> so, we got some guests to the room today. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Alicia. Tiara. What's going on, guys? Uh, Chilling? Yeah, not much. How's your day been? Good? Pretty good. Good? Anything? I mean, like... Just go ahead and get this out of the way. Are y'all kind of, like, nervous? Kind of. I can't stop smiling. (laughs) 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 She's smiling kind of big. I sure is. And Tierra got the mic away away from I know, her. she's like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, I like calling your people out. It's all right. We're just going to have a conversation in front of the mic. Okay. Don't worry okay. about the mic in front of you. Just focus on everybody that's in the room. We're just going to talk. Okay. All right? If you want to add something, you can interrupt if you want to. Yeah. Sometimes it is best to hear what's going on. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to just go jump off with something easy. Mm-hmm. Y'all heard of, y'all know, everybody know Kanye West. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm going to get down. <laughs> <laughs> and now that's pointless. But go ahead. Yeah, so Kanye West had a meltdown over the weekend. Like, right before. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, you know where that is. Sacramento. I know it was at his tour, the St. Pablo tour. Yeah. And he went on a rant about he would have voted for Donald Trump if he could have. And this is the third day he ran off. He dropped the mic and ran off stage. A day later, he canceled all 21 of his shows that were left. Oh, boy. What a and yeah. Did he get his money back? Yeah, they gave his money back. Okay. But they, then he admitted himself into a psychiatric hospital. Mm-hmm. Talking about he had mental problems. So, my Lisi, I feel like you more of the pop culture type of person. Mm-hmm. What do you think about Kanye West doing all of that? I think that he was he, he did it on purpose just to get attention. Like usual? Yeah, like what celebrities, they usually like do random stuff, like stupid stuff just to get attention. Yeah. No, true. Just, it's, it's weird. It's weird? Yeah. Uh, I was listening to a podcast today. They like, Kanye West did that just mm-hmm. to get some attention, but... He did that for he wouldn't get sued for canceling 21 shows. Because he makes about a million dollars per show. Wow. How so, much? About a million dollars per show. That's $21 million. So, you would, like, that's why he did that. Because if you cancel the show just to be canceling the show, mm-hmm. he got to pay that money. Yeah. But if it's not a natural disaster or like a death in the family, like when Kim got kidnapped or whatever she got there. She got um she got robbed. Yeah, when she got people, robbed. I, I, people started But they did say I'm sorry, but they did say that um they were getting divorced because Kanye West like, stole like her diamonds and stuff. They said that they were Where you hear this at? at school. Look, they probably saw this on Facebook. Most likely. And this is, it goes to my next thing I wanted to talk about. You hear about Facebook, they get mad at Mark Zuckerberg for not filtering out all the live, the live media or the news that get in the wrong news. We've been getting out of you about something. Because they're going to be like, they're going to be like, um, that's going to be $50 for whatever y'all, whatever lies y'all put up here. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's true. They, they talking about, it should be like, it should be the same premise of like porn. Mm-hmm. They should treat people as like media outlets lying and treat it just like porn. But I'm thinking, what does that matter? Like, what does, has that? It's not affecting nobody in that life. Because you shouldn't believe everything that's on Facebook as is. Right. You should take it as face value. Right. <laughs> like, Cause one guy came in, talk came in to me one day at the barbershop shop talking about, 
President Obama's daughter is pregnant. What? The young one. When they saw that on Facebook? <laughs> yeah. I'm mean, like, where you get this from? Facebook? Man, like, shut your dumb ass up. Facebook ain't never full Yeah. It's their opinion. Yeah. Thank you, Tier. Great, great. I'm like, it, it is everybody's opinion. So, thank you for that segue into my next one. So, what what's on the schedule for today, man? You know, the schedule is coming up this. I don't know if y'all heard about it. I think the girls heard about it. But the um, guy in West Virginia was <coughs> accused for killing a little boy. Black boy. 15 year old. 15 year old black boy. Killed him out. I'll what? tell you why. Because right. he bumped into him. Where? In front of Dollar General. <laughs> was this during Black Friday? Like, no, this was this is way before Black Friday. I think this happened Monday. Okay. This happened on Monday. Wow. He bumped into him and um, you know, they had some words to exchange. Well apparently they um he said that the the fifteen year old was waving the gun in his face and just whatever. Okay. Had a gun in his hand. So the guy said that he had left. Well, apparently, I guess they had followed him. The 15 year old? The, um, followed, no, the 15 year old had followed the 62 year old. Okay. And the 62 year old said that he was like, he was in fear of his life. Like Because he bumped into him. With the gun? So, yeah, with the gun, and he shot him. I got a question. How did this 15 year old follow this man? If you were born home? Like, well, he, here's what they are saying. It's saying that he was with a group of people. The 15 year old okay. was with a group of guys. But they're saying, too, is that, you know, there's cameras outside of Dollar General, too. Mm-hmm. And there was witnesses that saw the whole dispute that was going on between. So, was it a good? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Well, and but, I, um, I, I was sad at first, but hearing this, if the 15 year old followed this guy, he got what is he deserved. Hey. All right, all right, yeah. I that, say, yeah, that was it. Yeah. expected to happen. Yes, but I'm not yeah. sad. I'm not, yeah, I'm going to take that. Deserved is a little bit too harsh. But it seemed like it was about right. Because why are you following him? Yeah, but yeah. then the, the guy was like, if I feel like, he said, I'm not gonna, I'm a 62-year-old year old man, and I don't want to be out here feeling like I'm being punked by some 15-year-old um, kid. If he said and that. He said, he said, I'm sorry, but, um, I'm sorry, but if he was white or black, I don't care. You know, he was it, it shouldn't he be a color thing, black. but the news probably paid that as a but color. But the news did, and I, I get because it's like every, everything black is so is the black white thing. thing now. So, I mean, the whole team got killed by a white man. I mean, this is all I've heard about it so far. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna say that I've got the full details on everything. But from what I got out of what they were saying, they're still doing some more investigations. Mm-hmm. You know, this is what I got from it. If the boy had a gun, and what a group of people was the were they on foot or in the car? I think they were on foot. I'm assuming they were on foot. They didn't go into detail of where they on, but they just said he was in front of Dollar General. Yes, in front of Dollar General. Okay. What? No, she kicked me. It was an accident. She kicked me. They're playing pussies. They're playing pussies. Ladies and gentlemen, my least is playing pussies. Yeah. <laughs> nah. No, but, yeah. I don't know. I'd like to hear more to the story. Nobody should get followed home and harassed. Yeah, but, but at the same time, nobody should have got, got lost a life. Yeah. But it's kind of expected. You know, you, you 
you follow somebody from a store, you don't know who this person and is. And you have a gun. And you have a gun in your hand, then yeah. you're obviously going to be scared. Then I understand why the 62-year-old man is in fear for, for, for his, his life. life. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I know it is wrong for him to have killed killed a man, but, but maybe a shot to the kneecap wouldn't have been bad. But if he had a group full of his homies, and the boy got the gun. He like, what you say, cracker? What you say? <laughs> I, I, I black look, look. And he said, cracker, I blast you, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, nigga, nigga. <laughs> you know when you get the gun, you got the juice. Yeah. And he, he, he yeah. feel it. He he Billy badass. But he wrote a check that he could not cash. So. What's the next one? Well, I can't segue into this one. All right. Okay. All right. Well, this one right here is um, about a guy that was driving a hobby sex. I don't know exactly what hobby sex is going wrong. Louis Ronis was having sex while driving. He passed a red light in a car, and an old girl flew out the um, driver's side windshield <laughs> onto the car. Hold up. Hold up. Pause. Pause. What time was this? Wow. Like well, night time? Like in the wee hours of the AM? Yeah, so they had no, huh? Was this the wee hours of the AM? Yeah, like it was dark, dark though. So he hit a park car? No. He hit was a, uh, income it's car? like a it was okay, the way the video was uh-huh. the intersection almost. So of course it's a stoplight now because we go by. He ran, he the, red ran the red light, hit that car, T bone pretty much, and then the girl said, she went airborne into the air. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna but say, I'm gonna they say. saw the video, so it looked like she was on top of him, literally. And I was just like, well, damn, you know. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm going to say it nicely. That poo poo. Nice. <laughs> it had to be. It wasn't that no, no, Not paying attention like that. Yes. Yeah. So he's charged with DWI and what? I don't know. DWI. What's the DWI? <laughs> no. So, no, I have no, no. I messed with some heavyweights already, so that's not gonna happen. No, like you gotta that sound like it's good and fun and everything. That's a dangerous. Boy. Yeah, behind the wheel. Yeah. So yeah. never try. He that. had to go. The way, like I said, the video, he's going to see, of course, but she's facing him. Yeah. But in the video, they showed her body not going this way, but it went, like, face forward. Like. So she was looking, too? She had to be looking. So, um, cow reverse. No, I'm not reverse. This is just. Yes, it was reverse. I want to talk more. I do too. <laughs> but the kitties are here. This, all right. Talking about accidents. Did you? We talk. I can't hear you. What are you about to say? Okay. All right, all right, oh. Alexis. Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's what we tell you not to do. If you want to say it, say it. All right. <laughs> the segue into talking about accidents and everything. You hear about the bus driver? They um, crashed the bus on purpose. Wait, was Kim uh, in it? Another bus driver hit another bus? Not no. that one, that's the other one. That's the old one. <coughs> nah, this happened about a week ago. Dude was driving the bus, speeding. He went, like, you know, buses can only go 30 miles up, 30 miles per hour. Yeah. But he hit like 45. Wow. And I think he hit, hit a tree. Around a tree or something. He, he, he told the kid, like, Y'all ready to die? <gasps> Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. I watched a video the day next to that he had, it was on the one road, you know, mm-hmm. 45 miles an hour, and he went to take that curve, and when he did, he flipped it. Oh, and that's it what it split, was. and it flipped again, and it hit a pole and wrapped the wrong tree. And that's what they said had happened. I want, like, even in my truck, I wouldn't go around a white curb. Oh, no. I, like that. That's 
Oh, yeah. How many kids died? About three. Yeah. Oh my god. And the kids said that, um, you know, the guy, something was wrong with the guy. Yeah, anyway. he was so horrible. But he just got his own videos in April. Wow. And they were pissed off about that because. Some people say he was too young to be driving a bus. 29. I would say too young. 20. He was 23 years old. You think he was too young? I'm not saying he's too young, but I would say it was kind of too early for him to be driving a bus. And he wasn't, hasn't been driving that long. And but a bus is, the bus is not that bad, though. A long bus? It wasn't, it's not that bad. He, he's not hauling, I mean, he is hauling precious cargo, but it should be a, a cake job. He's not going to no hills, nothing like that. So I'm gonna ask the girl, yo, yeah, y'all drive, y'all riding the big cheese, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is 23 too young for a bus driver? Honestly, I do because 23 year olds are so young. They do reckless things, but they're still doing stupid mistakes. Like I said, he just got into an accident like a few months beforehand. Oh, what? Yeah, he just got into a car accident, and then uh, that was his fault. They said. Okay. And they were fussing because he has got his CDL since April. Yeah. And he's driving kids around. If he got tickets and everything, I didn't think bus drivers or commercial license drivers can get any tickets because they will get their license taken away from them. I yeah. thought that because my uncle got his CDL and he got the tickets a lot. <laughs> well, I don't know. What happened to the other guy? Was he dead, the driver? Yeah, I think he died too. But he walked away from the scene. Oh, then he not he, he in jail. He and was missing high school. He walked away from the, the scene. But yeah, that that bus looked pretty awful. So Tier, like talking about the bus and everything. So I was about to have a birthday coming yeah. up. Would you let him drive your bus? No. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Have a PJ. If you had to choose between your older siblings, who would you let drive? Uh, Honestly. Neither. No, no. Hell no. <laughs> this is hell no. No. Can I drive it? No. 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 I wouldn't let anybody no. drive the bus, especially Isaac and TJ. Why? Because they're speed demons. Yeah. But you all wouldn't let me drive the bus? I'm not a speed demon. PJ said the same thing. Who? Oh, you. When you was in the truck, though, I haven't driven with you in the Lincoln before. I'm scared of flying the Lincoln. TJ drives pretty fast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what's the next one, man? That was it, babe. That's all. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Girls, y'all got anything to talk about? Anything? The, the listeners don't like silence. I do want to talk about something else. You know, I can't do that. What you want to talk about? I can't talk about that. I can't speak on it. You might get in trouble. Like what? Oh. Oh, okay. The Job. Yeah. <laughs> you ever read the book of Job? The three little yeah. words. You haven't read the book of Job? No. In the Bible? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about like the book of, like a literal. It is a book literal. in the Bible. It's a literal book. I think book like it is a book in the Bible. Yeah, it's 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 a book in the Go ahead, speak. He said what? There's nothing wrong with her. Alright. There's nothing wrong with her. Alright. So what else, guys? Is that it? That's it? I guess that's it. Well, I'm trying to reach 20 minutes at least. Alright, go ahead your information. Alright, you know the podcast got uh, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, YouTube. All that good stuff is Oops Podcast, E-U-T-S underscore P-O-D-C-A-S-T. 
Oops Podcast. And y'all can catch me everywhere but Snapchat. But you don't want me out there anyway. But it's DZ Hood, D E Z Y H O O D. Yeah. Play on.